Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is a Wednesday in November which means it is time for another crafty Christmas collab video. I hope you'll stick around and see what I made this week. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I am having such a fun time stopping by each week with a new project for the Crafty Christmas Collab, which is hosted by Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube. Each Wednesday in November, all of the collaborators are stopping by either their YouTube channel or their Instagram account and sharing another creation using the same paper pad or pack for the whole month. Once you're done with my video today, I hope that you'll go visit all of the other collaborators. They're all linked in the description box below. See what they made and leave them some love. Just as in the past two weeks, I used the Christmas Delivery Paper Pack from Cartabella to create my project for today. I used one of the wood grain papers from the package as well as some of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Another item that you'll see I used was a 5x7 plastic photo frame and I just got mine at the Dollar Tree. Are you ready to see what I made? My project today is kind of like a desk command center. It has your calendar and it has a little place where you can write notes. I did something similar last year for the collaboration, but this year I have added a calendar. I created a business card size calendar file on my computer and printed it out on one sheet and then I cut and stapled all of those calendars together. So when you move on in the year, you just tear off the calendar. Now a great thing you could do with this is give it as a gift and have different 5x7s so it's seasonal because if you're in July you wouldn't want tis the season to be jolly and a Christmas wreath on your desk but you could give it to them with a package of maybe five or six different 5x7 pieces for the background and maybe a couple extra post-it notepads in case they run out. I did get the 5x7 photo frame where the stand is on the longer edge. That way it can sit like this. If you can only find the ones where it would sit like this on the short edge, you could always do the calendar on top and the post-it note on the bottom. I will be back later this month with a process video for you on this where I will be giving the calendar file for free to my subscribers. So make sure to go ahead and get subscribed, click on that notification so you know when I upload that video. I hope you enjoyed my little project today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go visit the other collaborators linked below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.